I mean, we used to date, now we speed date. We used to read, now we speed read. We used to walk, now we speed walk. I was in a gym in the Gold Coast and I walked in and I saw a sign for speed yoga. <laughs> he's really vibrant, he's got a great personality, he's fun, he's funny. He'll take you on a journey so he'll in, engage the audience in, in his presentation. But you can really take away stuff that you can implement in your business or your career, you know, right then and there. A lot of work-life balance speakers say the solution is to slow down. Do less. How practical is that advice? Can we go back to the office after this and say, great breakfast, I've got a new strategy, I'm doing less. <laughs> It's not practical, but here's my thing. I don't think speed is the issue. Adam's talk was really fantastic. He's very energetic, engaging, knows his subject matter really well. Showing that 55% of the population have no enthusiasm for their job whatsoever. None, not a shred. And 18% are so disengaged that the company would be better off if they stayed at home. The one thing we control in our life is how we show up. How we turn up affects our culture. People say culture just comes from the top down. I think it comes from the bottom up as well. The culture of an organisation is a collective mindset of each individual in that organisation. Adam's talk was fantastic. I think like many in the audience, I was concerningly related to a number of things he was talking about, with that often our lives are a bit out of control and we're focused on the wrong things. As a mum with two very, very young boys, I certainly related to the importance of living in the moment. People measure balance in terms of time. Wrong metric. Balance is about engagement. Now, what's the average attention span of an adult? Or do I have to repeat that question? <laughs> 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 15? The average attention span of an adult is 10 to 40 seconds. <laughs> Adults' brains during the day while they're at work are acting like a child's brain with ADD. Leaving your email open all day is an ADH habit. So you're working away, the alert goes off, says you've got mail, you think, I'll check it. You check it, you put out the fire that's attached to it, you come back, what was I doing? That's right, start to get into it, then the phone rings, then someone comes and asks you a question. The average employee is interrupted every six minutes. Now a new statistic that's been thrown around is 28%, and that is the percentage of our day we spend recovering from distractions. The biggest challenge we have in our business to find really talented speakers with new messages and really great content. So everywhere I go I ask people, you know, who's a fantastic speaker? Who have you heard of? Who's fantastic? And a lot of people came back and said Dr. Adam Fraser, so that's why we took him today and um, we'll continue to work with him. He's just a true professional and great, great message. And have you ever been talking to someone on the phone and they start giving you these half-assed answers and then you hear keys tapping in the background and the phone? And have you ever done it yourself? where you're on the phone with someone and you do the soft type. <laughs> where you push the keys down really softly so they can't hear you working. She said, in every area of my life, I felt guilty. And do you ever feel the same? Do you ever feel like you turn up to each environment and react to it rather than control? Do you ever feel like you have all these roles, but you're keeping no one in any of them happy? <laughs>